Hi, I'm Taylor Smurl. And I'm Tommy Smurl. And this is me. Me. Hello, Dad. Hello, Tater. Well, we're back in our pers- respective places. Back in our own little squares. <laughs> yeah. Instead of instead of both of us cuddled in together around your bar, we're each behind our own bar. I know. I like that you're just you. You're at least you're in part still in Brooklyn because you're wearing your Six Point Brewery shirt. So that's nice. That's right. That's right. Well, uh, as we talked about over on the podcast, uh, the weather is looking sort of warm. It's like 50 degrees and rainy here in New York, so it doesn't feel like mojito weather. But we talked about mojitos this week on the podcast and how it is a perfect summer, warmer weather beverage. You know what? I got something to put us in a more of a mojito mood. Oh. Wait a minute. I'll be right back. What? Oh, this is a surprise. This is a- the new thing that's doing, he's, he's going off script. Uh, all right, let's 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 see where this goes. Ah, you're dressed got for the Got my beach. Jimmy yeah. Buffett. Yeah, I got my Jimmy Buffett attire on. This is a shirt I wore when we went to see him and got to meet him backstage. Uh, you haven't washed it since, Pan- right? And then my Panama hat. Of course, it's not really a Panama hat. It's a straw hat. Well, it's, it's an old man hat. Oh, old, old man okay. at the beach hat. Old yeah. man at the beach tire. That's I, that's great. Wow, I didn't. Well, but I wanted to get in the mood, in the mojito mood. Mojito. Well, all you're missing now is the drink. So so let's let's get you that drink. <laughs> let's get to work. All right. Pronto. So a uh, a mojito is a very simple drink to make. You don't need anything fancy for it. Uh, you need a shake tin. Okay. And uh, so the ingredients in this are, uh, we, we talked about sours a lot. Uh, you're basically, you're making a sour with some mint in it and you're topping it with seltzer. That's it. So you're going to have your uh, citrus. We're going to use lime juice. We've got some simple syrup as our sweetener. We're going to muddle some mint in there. And then of course, the base spirit in this is going to be white rum. So to start, we're just going to take, uh, you want like six, five or six good sized leaves. Try not to get the stems in there. Those are gonna get bitter. Now that we've got our little handful of mint here, uh, so obviously a mojito is, is muddled. Uh, now I will say the way that I was taught was to actually just, you just slap the mint, you tear it in half and you throw it in there and then you build the cocktail on top of it and you shake it up. That's fine. If you don't have a muddler, if you just shake, give it a good hard shake, you're gonna be okay. We're gonna give it a light muddle. Um, that's the way I think they taste best but you don't want to over muddle it because once you start ba- breaking down the stems, you're going to release some bitterness. You really just want to give it a like few couple turns in there. Just start releasing those oils. Lightly muddled. Lightly. That's what I am. I'm lightly muddled. Uh, next we're going to come in with our citrus. Uh, we're going to be three quarter ounce of lime juice. Three quarter ounce of lime juice. Uh, next, we're going to do three quarter ounce of simple syrup. Seems like they cancel each other out. If you just didn't put any either one else in, you'd still end up with the same thing. That's not really how flavor works. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> All right. And now we're just going to do two ounces of our white rum. Two ounces white rum. I use Bacardi's with the vampire on there. Some vampire mojitos. I want to bite your neck and talk your blood. <laughs> I want to drink a mojito. <laughs> All right, so now I add the ice. Yep, you want to ice up your uh, shaker. And if you haven't iced up your glass yet, you could do that now too. All right, I shall ice it both up. All right, so shake the shit out of it, huh? Shake the shit out of it. Unscrewing it. There. there you go. I was afraid to really hit and commit to it. I was afraid I'd end up wearing it. Some people like to fine strain their mojitos with like a tea strainer so you get every little bit of mint out. I personally like a little bit of mint floating in there. I, I like it better that way, but that's up to you. If you want a clean strain mojito, you can double strain it. I'm just going to single strain it. It's a little big for my glass. 
I think it's about right for mine. I use my S glass. I got these from my mom and dad. I don't know why they have an S on them. They never explained to me that, but anyway, it's got an S on it. Prop, prop, smurl. I thought it was like for glasses. Smart. I think it's for smart. Smart. Uh, <laughs> all right. And now we're going to uh, top it with some seltzer, soda water, sparkling water, you know, whatever, mineral water, however fancy you want to get with your water. Mojito! Mojito! You want to garnish it with a good sprig of mint. Not just like do you a stir it any to get it together, or just a couple stirs, or do you just let it sit? When I serve it in the bar, I use the straw to kind of poke it in and give it a twist, because that's all you want. You don't really want to bother with a spoon in there. Mm. Yeah. If you want to, yeah, sure. I just wanted to give it a little stir. I don't use straws. I don't like straws, and they're bad for the environment. Well, I've got paper straws. <laughs> yeah, those kind of collapse real fast. I'm I real like picky them. about those things. Okay. Okay. Uh, and you want to get a good sprig of mint, not just like a little like two piece. You want like a nice big like top of a mint sprig. And I'm going to throw a lime wheel on too, just because it's cute. I have a cute lime here, so I'll put that in too. Look at that veritable tree I have coming out of there. Yeah, that's a whole tree. <laughs> Cheers, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Dad. Yeah. I might have to get the weed whacker to get in there to this drink. Well, that's why you have the straw, man. Straw mm. lets you drink, but also get your nose all up in that mint that makes you make it smell all nice. Oh, it does. I'm I'm smelling it. It's it's all up my nose while I'm drinking it. That's good. Yeah. 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 I have to say, I like that. And I can see why it's refreshing on a hot summery day. Yeah, and you know, it's a formula that like obviously it works great with rum. It works great with gin, uh, minus the soda. That's the south side, but you can you can sub gin in. You can sub tequila into this formula. Whiskey actually works fine. Um, if you just are looking uh, as a as a nice like light formula for making a spirit that you have at your house super drinkable, this is great. I, it's classically and I think best with rum, but most all spirits work with this. Hmm. It kind of like inspires me to write a song for Jimmy Buffett, something like, Wasting Away Again in Mojitaville. Mojita. What do you think? Uh, you think that'll work? You know, uh, Jimmy Buffett is a little quick with the copyright infringement lawsuit, so I would maybe stay away from that. Well, I was writing it for Jimmy Buffett. Oh, just like I wasn't going to sing it myself. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for him to sing. Yeah, yeah I was going to submit it to him. You know, maybe I thought that up on my own. I've heard there went my lime. Somebody <laughs> it rolled right off the ship. edge. What was that? that? That lime didn't want to get involved with Jimmy Buffett in the copyright. <laughs> that that lime already was like, nah, man, I got a contract. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to tell on me. <laughs> Just squeezing away. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. <laughs> I'll have to make sure that I find that. Otherwise, Ruth will. <laughs> what are the girls? Yeah, well, Cooper would. Yeah, she would. Well, all right, I'd love to just keep sitting here drinking this, but I guess we should move on to number two, the upgrade. Yes, number two is, I, I think it's an upgrade. It's one of my favorite cocktails. Uh, it's one of the first cocktails I learned randomly. Like my, mm -hmm. one of the first bar owners I worked under, he taught me the mojito and then he was like, and here's a better version of the mojito. And he taught me this cocktail. And it was like my one trick for a while while I was bar backing, like, you know what drink I know how to make? This, it's the old Cuban. Um, and the old Cuban is the same exact format as the mojito, but, you're gonna add in a little bit of Angostura bitters and you're gonna to top it with Prosecco or sparkling wine or Cava, some sort of affordable sparkling wine um, instead of your soda water. So let's get to that. All right. Same as before, we're gonna uh, rustle up some mint here. All right, rustling up some mint. Hey partner, can I bother you for some mint, please? <laughs> Just gonna rustle some up here. I'm gonna slap it. And I'm gonna tear it. And I'm gonna drop it in. And then I'm gonna lightly muddle. Muddle, muddle, muddle. You're gonna throw a couple dashes of bitters in there, Angostura. A couple of dashes of Angostura bitters. And this is gonna add a little bit more balance to it, uh, especially because the Prosecco is gonna add a little bit of sweetness. And same as before, three quarter uh, lime, three quarter simple. Two 
two ounces of rum now. Yep. Now, I guess I need to ice my glass and ice my shaker. Yep. All right, I am iced. All right, let's shake it up. Hey, what's shaking? Use a little fancier glass for this one. Yeah, I got a wine glass. I think you've got a nice goblet there, Dad. I got these little little baby bottles of Prosecco. <laughs> I love them because uh, whenever we have a video involving sparkling wine, I live alone. So like we'll use like, you know, a fourth of the bottle and then I just have three fourths of a bottle of sparkling wine that's going to go bad. So I end up drinking it, which is not good. So I like these little bottles because they are portion controlled Prosecco. Yeah, I probably should have looked for that. Well, you got some helpers there. That's true. You're pointing that right to the camera. It's an action shot. No. Always open your bubbles away from you and away from everybody else. Voila. There you go. Oh, it got me in the eye. It got me in the eye. I All right, so top it off. Yes. Ooh, it's bubbly. Right. Oh. And same as before, gonna get a nice big sprig of mint. in there and I'm gonna throw a throw a lime on this as well. well I've got one cut so I might as well I need to put a straw in mine all right Our cheers fancy old Cuban cheers cheers come to me old Cuban let me put my lips around you yes that's a much different texture there with the bubbles in there you really, uh, and I'm not, I didn't see what kind of Prosecco you got. I know I told you to get, well, you got a, it's a extra dry. Right. That's, that's the key. Uh, so it's an, it's a nicely balanced drink. So long as you get a nice dry Prosecco or Cava or whatever kind of sparkling wine you like. Um, if you get anything that's on the sweet end, it's not unworkable, but you want to cut into that simple syrup. So if you've got a sweet sparkling wine or a semi-sweet, I would cut that simple syrup in half down to a quarter. You're going to need some, but not much. Uh, to me, this is, I hate to say a better cocktail, but for my taste preferences, it, this is more in line with what I like to drink. How about that? Well, that's what drinking's all about. It's yeah. what you like the best. Which we talked about on the episode. Ultimately, that's right. you should drink what you want to drink. That's right. In the words of Ricky Nelson, you can't please everyone, so you got to please yourself. Brilliant. There it is. There's the best sip. Double fisting. I am now a professional mojito maker. Um, so you can so impress then, your family, your friends, James Bond. <laughs> yeah, well, they're sitting around the pool, and they say, mojito me. I can mojito them. All right. Well, um, thank you, Dad, for being here, for joining me again. Well, thank you, Tater, for having me and mojitoing me. Thank you all for watching this video. Uh, if you would like to support us, we have a Patreon. Uh, we are Need the Booze Guests on Patreon. Uh, you get rewards, you get coasters, you get stickers, uh, you get special videos. Um, if you would like to find us on social media, we are Neat Boozecast on Twitter and Instagram. If you would like to email us, you can email us at neattheboozecast at gmail.com. And if you'd like to find us on Facebook, uh, Neat the Boozecast. Find us there. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Smash the subscribe button. Smash it. It's right well, down there. I don't really know. It or, might be over there. But, I don't even know what that means, but I see that all the time. So I like do you it. Say that. I forget that. I forget where, 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 where this video is going. I'm like, oh, right. YouTube. What? Who's on YouTube? We are. Oh. <laughs> uh, thank you again for joining us. And as always, the uh, specs for these two drinks will be down below uh if you make them at home uh please share your success stories with us well hey i've been taylor smurl and i've been tommy smurl and this has been neat wasting away again in mojitoville yes, yeah I there's am, something yes, something I quite off searching for my lost package of mint my mint my mint my 
comment. Some people say that Ernest Hemingway's to blame, but that's wrong. <laughs> he never went to that joint. We don't think so. 